Welcome back air gunners and have I got a surprise for you today. I have never reviewed, let alone really shot a bullpup. And due to the great uh, graciousness of Air Guns of Arizona, they have allowed me the opportunity to review this Diana Skyhawk in 22 caliber with a beautiful walnut stock for you, my viewers and subscribers. So thank you Air Guns of Arizona for the amazing opportunity. Guys, before I go into all the specifics of this air rifle, many of you are probably sitting there saying, yeah, I recognize that air rifle. It is an Artemis P15. It's been available for a while now, and there's nothing special about that. So let's rewind that for a second, because yes, it is a rebranded SPA air rifle that Diana is now um, marketing. But there are some key differences to that, and we're going to talk about those first. That is, and it all comes down to the stock. And you notice this stock is a beautiful walnut stock. The original P15, very plain beach looking stock, um, no grip, no real uh, design to it. Um, but Diana has come out and they're working with Minelli, the, the world renowned stock maker, to produce this version of the stock for the P15. And it's either available in either walnut or as a laminate stock comes with a foregrip that is also checkered and then also checkering on the grip itself, which allows for that non-slip surface. You're not going to find that on the original version. And also the part that I haven't heard a whole lot of people talking about is the back end of this stock. And it comes with an adjustable butt pad. Not only does it adjust up and down, but it'll also can't left or right. So you really get that snug feeling in that shoulder area so you can just get that exact fit that you want when you're shooting and that's paramount if you are going to be shooting offhand especially in a hunting type situation where this rifle would come in most handy i think um, and just one more thing about this i was looking as looking at it as like you know that is really familiar looking and as some of you guys have probably already seen you probably saw my day state red wolf review that i did uh, just about a year ago now and this is actually the exact same butt pad that you're going to find on that two thousand three thousand dollar air rifle by day state so talk about quality and a jump in um adjustability right there in that piece alone let alone the nice checkering that is available and the obvious the two different types of stocks versus the original beach you have now the walnut and the laminate and right right there you have more than enough reason to spend the extra dollars on the diana skyhawk versus the original artemis p15 so good job diana nice upgrades i'm thrilled with it um, let's talk about some of the other features though the air rifle not only comes with a case that I have pictured above us, but it also comes with two nine shot rotary magazines, a single shot tray that is, it appears to be of an aluminum type of material. And then also it comes with this fill probe. And unlike a lot of fill probes, it already has the foster fitting built in. Why can't everybody do this? That's what I want to know because you know, oftentimes I've bought air rifles and it comes with a fill probe, but then I have to go back online, order a foster filling or take the foster fitting off of one of my current fill probes from my other rifle, attach it back and forth, yada, yada. Not this time. This time I just plugged it right into my hose, opened up the spring loaded uh, fill po port cover, inserted the probe, filled her up and I was ready to go. So nice job on those features. Also, this air rifle comes shrouded, and I will be very honest here, the original baffles that are inside the shroud are worthless, and I absolutely suggest that you take them out. I think that taking them out helps in accuracy. It does not change the level of noise that your air gun is going to produce. Um, they're just worthless. So take those original baffles out of there. I hope that at some point in time they change that baffle system and make it a little bit more purposeful. The nice thing is, is that there are aftermarket parts that you can buy different baffles for the shroud and that make a significant difference and don't harm accuracy. So keep that in mind if you buy this air rifle and you're having a little accuracy problem, just pull out the original factory baffles out of there. Uh, as you can also tell, 
uh, you have a nice metal trigger down here with a push through safety on either side, which is very convenient, especially if you're hunting uh, out in the woods so you can uh, get to that very easily and not have to worry or fumble around with the back of the air rifle. Um, it is a two stage trigger. I will say that the trigger is good. It is not excellent, but it is good. It is a definitely a purposeful hunting style trigger. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, but again, if you're out in the woods, you don't want necessarily that really fine hair trigger that you're going to get with a target rifle. But this thing is more than good enough for anything that most of us will be doing with this rifle. Um, also, another thing to keep in mind, it, it does have a side lever action um, that is uh, very easy to use, very smooth. And the one, one little thing here that I like to see change is that the, there's a little up and down play when you pull the lever out. But once you close everything up, it does snug right up and you're not going to have any wobbling or anything in there. So I just like to see the, um, the, that play taken out of there. But again, not a huge deal whatsoever. So after I investigated and kind of looked this thing over, I started wanting to kind of get the data and see where this thing was. And I was able to, uh, over my chronograph here in the garage, I was able to get 50 plus shots at 30 foot pounds of energy. And that of course is without making any modifications or any changes, not adjusting the regulator that comes factory set from the factory. Um, that's just how it was. So I was very happy with that. Uh, if you are one of those individuals that want to upgrade or love to tinker, uh, you can change the regulator out. And I have read that you can squeeze a few more shots out of it if you upgrade to a Huma regulator. But it's, and for my perspective, for my purposes, absolutely unnecessary. Uh, I was very happy with what I was getting here. So you got the regulator information, you've got the adjustability of the stock, you've got some of the uh, accessories that come with this rifle. And um, how about accuracy? Well, I did my typical five shot groups at both 25 and 50 yards, and I found it to be really, really accurate. Uh, at 25 yards, I was shooting the JSB um, heavies, and 22 caliber and I got just over a quarter of an inch at I want to say it was 0.2925 center to center and those are the JSB jumbos and then also I was looking and, and push, push looking to push it out further and I took it out the 50 yard range and my best group of the day was just over three quarters of an inch and I did change pellets out I found that at the further range it did really like the JSB jumbo heavies so made it so probably bucked the wind a little bit because the day that i was shooting groups i had about eight to ten mile per hour wind so at that 50 yard range though i was getting groups just over three quarters of an inch at 0.7925 center to center which is great for a bullpup uh, in this price range no complaints there and overall guys i, I have to admit I am kind of becoming a bullpup fan. It is fun, it is accurate, it is convenient, it just feels good. And even being a left-handed shooter, I was worried that this might come into play with where my cheek rest hit, but you know what? It didn't. So if you're left-handed, don't let this part scare you. It, it feels good. Um, no problem whatsoever. So, hey, if you're looking for a bullpup to, to you know add to your collection, um, this is something that I would definitely give it a consideration to, especially if you're on a budget or in, but looking for some nice quality, high quality features, whether that be the walnut stock, the adjustability of the butt pad, um, the nice long shroud, a couple of magazines included, even comes with a nice carry case. So all in all, Diana, I appreciate your effort. I think that this is definitely a winner to be quite honest with you. And, Air Guns of Arizona, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to review this air rifle for you guys. Until next time, may your trigger pull stay smooth and your pellets fly straight. And we're going to see you right here on the Air Gun Advisor.